Here are some more examples uh, of Hess cycles using combustion enthalpies and formation enthalpies. First of all, a combustion enthalpies example. And it says in the question, calculate the enthalpy change for the change from white tin to grey tin. So two different allotropes of tin. And the data which you're given in the question is the combustion enthalpy of white tin and the combustion enthalpy of grey tin. And as you can see, the grey tin is very slightly more exothermic than the combustion enthalpy of the white tin. And using this data, you'll be able to work out the enthalpy change to go from one allotrope to the next. So here's the Hess cycle. And the reaction is going from white tin to grey tin. And this reaction enthalpy, we don't know. However, we do know that to combust the white tin, uh, we've been given the enthalpy change for that reaction. And that will give you the combusted products, which will be uh, tin oxide. Similarly, for the grey tin, we've been given the combustion enthalpy of that. And that will give you the same combusted products, the same tin oxide. So to work out delta H for the reaction, we're going to start here, we want to go down the red arrow, so that sign stays the same, it's still minus 581, but then going up the blue arrow, change the sign, that negative becomes a positive, and so the total calculation is minus 851 plus the 583.5, which gives uh, a final answer of plus 2.5 kilojoules per mole. Always put a sign in when you've got enthalpy calculations, even if it's positive. Here's another example, but this time using formation enthalpies. Calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction of ethene with water to form ethanol. And the data which you've been given, you've been given the formation enthalpy of ethene. So that will be the energy change going from the elements to the compound from carbon and hydrogen to ethene. The formation enthalpy of water, which would be going from elemental hydrogen and elemental oxygen to water, and the formation enthalpy of ethanol, which would be going from elemental carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to ethanol itself. Here is the Hess cycle for that example. So there is ethene with water and it's this reaction enthalpy, which we don't know, to form ethanol as the product. However, what we do know are the enthalpy changes going from the elements to uh, the compounds, either on the reactant side or on the product side. So those elements are carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. And we know that to go from carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to ethene here, that would be the enthalpy of formation of ethene, which is plus 52 kilojoules per mole, given in the question. And to form the water from the elements uh, is also given in the question. That's delta H formation of water minus 286. On the other side of the Hess cycle, we have the enthalpy of formation of the ethanol which was given in the question, and so that is going from elemental carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to ethanol itself. To work out delta H of the reaction, we're starting here, we're going to go up this arrow, so change the sign of, uh, of this line here, the plus 52 minus the 286 becomes minus 52 plus 286. Once you've gone up to the elements, you're going to come down this side, keep the sign the same, so that's still minus 278, minus 278 there, which gives an overall enthalpy change of minus 44 kilojoules per mole.